everybody. Hey, everybody. Don't try to <laughs> bogart my intro. Sorry, man. Welcome to the Northern Line Live Super Show. How do you feel about that shit? <laughs> Mathis, you're the worst. I am I'll the fuck one. up your branding. Uh, <laughs> Common Sense EU4. It's me, Northern Line, as well as Mathis, Cool, and Aruma. Say hello. Hey. Hello. You're hey, how are you doing? You're doing well. Thank you for asking. Your branding it's is very nice branding. of you. Unlike some people. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Man, really should have just vassalized Austria. I need like uh, 700 admin points to core the entire country. <laughs> oh, you ate them completely. Yeah. Nice. It made my overextension kind of high. Poland. I'm kind of high. Poland. I'm not going to let you have an army. Every time you show up with something, I'm just going to destroy it. Go and away. And me taking Austria and spending all my admin points down here is going to give Mathis free reign up in, in Poland. Damn lucky nation. Stupid stupid Spain. Not a fan of not a fan of Spain. They got their entire army in one spot. Mm -hmm. Wait way to go, Spain. Go Spain. Keep fighting, good fight. <laughs> if a rebellion is only due to unrest in one province, is it likely that that province would have like a huge stack spawn on it instead of like two fragmented stacks or does it not change the mechanics at all sorry say that one more time so normally when a rebellion pops it's due to unrest in like multiple provinces but i have like yeah. one really a province that's very displeased with me um if they pop rebels is it just going to be like one stack of the normal units or would it be like the amount of Two normal pops, or like, you know, one normal pop with two armies in one province. I had the doubly concentrated. No, it should, it, the size of the rebellion is going to be based on the development in the province. Okay. Yeah, there's a weird mechanic if, like, it's a single province generating the unrest and that it can pop faster than expected because of some things, but you're, math. Not, you're not going to get crazy numbers. Paradox uh -huh. math. <laughs> I can live with this. Oh my god, Lithuania is still zero allies? Somebody swoop in on that. Mm -hmm. They're I mean, demanding Spain, to be declared on. The Spanish just keep keep on coming and keep on getting killed. They just don't seem to understand. <laughs> they need to know when they've been beaten. Like, we just had this really successful campaign in Poland. What happened? <laughs> Prussia has been doing a sabotage reputation against us. Oh, we found it. That's been there for a long time. Lovely. You knew that was happening. Happy to hear that. Pencil that in. <laughs> Damn it, I failed my manpower recovery mission. Denmark, I'll accept peace from you when I'm ready to accept peace from you. The only reason you're even still here, Denmark, is because you're allied with Poland. Poland barely exists anymore either, though, like, as far as oh, an army is concerned. A little bit ambitious, I think. What is their army? I'm going to take a look right now. Poland's army. Uh, 1,000 men. That's pretty bad. With literally one single mercenary somewhere. You you do the hard part. I'm going to swoop in after you piece them out and just vassalize them. <laughs> but do you could be the greatest friend of all time, Mathis. You could be the very best. If you just ally or break their alliance with France. Well, my main war is with Denmark. Yeah. So you what you do is you get Poland fully sieged, and then you take like the Danish capital. Gotcha. And then they'll be like, oh please. We'll fuck over Poland however you want us to. <laughs> oh, there's your two star general just won't die. Every time I wipe out his army, he's still Comes back. Still so pissed that I like lost my strong claim, really good air, to that stupid event. <laughs> What's Denmark's army like right now? Non-existent. Seven thousand men. All right. Been destroyed by me and Sweden. <laughs> like you go nuts. You can take that entire peninsula. Sounds good to me. Now I ally Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, they really, really hate me, so. All right, Arumba. Yeah. I have a question for you. I think you'll like this question. 
Imagine you have a uh, high overextension, just under 100, theoretically. <laughs> and uh, and then people are spying and... Well, no, no, so, not, not rest, yet. Yeah. Don't give anybody any ideas. No, oh, okay. But you, have, you don't have enough admin points to core any province. But let's say there's one that costs 280 and one that costs 200. Mathematically, is it better for overextension reduction to wait until you have the admin points to do the large one or to do the small one to do them like piecemeal as you get them? Well, it depends on the, the defensibility of the province and the unrest in the province. Like, I would... Like, if you have a fort in a province and you think there's going to be a rebellion, that kind of affects things. But generally, I'd go the cheapest one. The sooner you can start making progress on getting overextension down, the better. Okay. Uh, actually, that's that's very helpful because the most expensive province has a fort and relatively low unrest. So, that makes sense. Thank you. I'm, just, I'm killing people with my cannons at this point. This is, uh, this is not, not ideal. Spain was not supposed to join the war late. They were supposed to stay out of the war forever because they were just... You know, caught up in another war. Uh, Provence, what are you doing? Oh, you're going around, okay. I can't believe Provence is still, like, intact. They're my buddies. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Not just me, either. I don't know what it is. Like, Brittany, or in this case, Provence, just always seems to hang around longer than you'd expect. Well, France got hit pretty hard by the nerf bat with the, the change to the starting circumstances. Mmm, okay. Yeah. When they lost all their vassals, they lost all their manpower. Yeah. That's and where the... Ability to get more roles on, like, great generals and stuff. Yeah, they, they had, like, just a stupid amount of manpower recovery rate because they had five, four or five vassals, each with a 10,000 manpower pool. pool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man. Power. Man, this, there are 56,000 rebels in Poland right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. And they're all um, Polish magnate rebels? That's yeah. Weird. Is that like a changing government type or something? It must be because they're an electorate. I assume. Weird. Very strange. Poor bastards. Yeah, right? Oh, that's fantastic. Wish I had a little bit more money right now. Yeah? I just I just got a random event. <laughs> Rebel support efficiency plus 50%. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shouldn't even um. be allowed. Oh, you got that one, huh? Yeah, that's the one that's going on right oh, now. Oh, I got yeah, I got the one that you have right now that's like do do go do 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 go do do do. <laughs> It's like marching for war, basically. Right. The bards are singing the successes of our troops. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the war goal, right? It must be. Man, I really want to declare war on Denmark right after Sweden ends their war on them. Just like constant, never-ending pain. Just wipe them off the face of the map. Yeah. Remember when they and Poland were my allies that saved me from complete obliter obliteration in the early <laughs> game? <laughs> that, was, that was back when Awkward. Sweden was their, uh, was it their march or whatever it was? Oh, uh, they were just under a personal union, I think. Yeah. It's a good one. It is. It's good i haven't played this game with music for like two months <laughs> music's good yeah I had it, it, so it is really I had good so quiet yeah i still have it pretty quiet especially on my own end i think it's a little louder in the videos but not much denmark i'm not going to piece you out i will piece you out when i'm ready <laughs> they're in so many wars right and they can stay in those wars for as long as i need them in them <laughs> I'm actually surprised Sweden didn't fully siege them when I got out of my war. Because they already had a bunch of the territory. I don't know what Sweden is up to. Well, I guess they're in a uh, war against Poland, too, so they might be distracted going the wrong way. So what's your war for? Technically, uh, golden, golden again. Oh, over there, yeah. 
It's just an excuse to attack Poland, though. Why do war reparations sometimes go, like, way up in one month? Loans. Oh, nice! That's <laughs> messed up! <laughs> it is. Take, like, a loan with 8% interest or something, and immediately 10% of the loan goes to the person who's your overlord. That is amazing! <laughs> or if you get an event that gives you a bunch of money. I think that, That's that the other thing too. I was thinking of, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I didn't know it works with loans. Hmm... Hi, yes, Poland. I would like to take your capital. Hmm. I'm interested to see what happens if these uh, magnate rebels get power. I mean, like, they should. I don't know who's going to stop them. Mm -hmm. Ottomans have been fabricating a claim on our province. Like, Ottomans... Ottomans. Come on Ottomans, now. They are really, really scary in this yeah, game. Yeah, they, they they're are, huge. They're so much. You know what? I think it's time that we, as members of the Christian faith, mm -hmm. band together to uh, protect ourselves against the, you know... Yeah, now that you border them. Yeah, I, I yeah. was thinking, you know, that's a coincidence, but I understand how it colors the negotiations a little bit. <laughs> I know, it'd be just like that league war we had. Yeah, we could we could do it together for sure, for sure. I would love to do it together with you. <laughs> they only have seventy eight thousand men. Quill has sixty two. Arumba has sixty two. I got forty six. Mathis has thirty four. Spain's got seventy two. I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. <laughs> so many numbers. Where am I gonna find an octagon? That's uh, that's okay. I'm telling you, though, for real, if we don't get our stuff together, uh, we're about to get smashed. Mostly me, but yeah, they'll come for you, too. Oh, Jesus, they'll there's all fucking 41,000 of Poland's mm. rebels. <laughs> yeah, man, they're like, they're pretty displeased. All right. Let's okay. see what, what kind of rebels? Mean? They're all magnate? Uh, yeah, it looks mix. like. Okay. There's another, like, 16 somewhere, unless you killed them. Really? You won't just give me two? Poland, I don't want to keep smashing you over and over again. Just give me the two provinces I want. Dude, you should take more than that. No, I, I got Denmark to eat up. Nah, though, dog. <laughs> I knew there would be discontent coming somewhere here. <laughs> don't know who it is, but... Rest well, it's shirt. either to your north or to your south. Yeah. Not a whole lot of other I, options. Can I soak a discontent? I can sabotage your reputation. Rest assured, I uh, I noticed it. All right, it's probably not Mathis then. <laughs> not much else going on right now. Is that a button that I can press? <laughs> Look, I don't know. I know I can sabotage some reputations. That's about it. My room is being real quiet. But that's probably because he's looking at battles. Yeah. Fighting Spain on low manpower. It's fun. Oh, hey, I finally have the war goal, and yet he still has high enthusiasm because it's a freaking coalition war. Great. Well... Let's just be done with all this. Oh, somebody took out another loan. <laughs> what a great day to be me. Who's paying you? Uh, by Papal State, that's it. Papal State. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they're taking out loans because they're in a huge war and they've got nothing else they can do. Nice. I was going to say Austria, then I realized, whoops, they don't exist mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, by the way. You're welcome, Flanders. You're busy. I agree, I am busy. <laughs> been uh, an interesting episode i see spain coming into that war late like I, i've commented on it a lot saying like i think that coalition wars like people should be able to join ongoing coalition wars if they join the coalition like if they have the i agree 
Maybe. But that's basically what happened, and it totally threw everything off because I, I was not expecting Spain to come back into the war because they yeah. missed the call. Yeah, but they were still in the coalition. Yeah. Or, and or allied. It's just that I'm not used to it. If I had if I had known Spain could come in, I wouldn't have declared that war. So I ended up having to fight somebody that I didn't really want to fight. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see Northern Lions Rebels pop. I'm not even mad. I'll take them out. It's no problem whatsoever. I don't know. The particularists have a lot of provinces that they're trying to spawn in. Is this correct? Oh, you pieced out. I, I don't... Maybe I dismissed the pop-up. <clears throat> so what was the outcome of the war? Uh, because Venice is a jerk, I just took Treviso and just ended the war. Okay. I wanted to do a lot more, but... It didn't seem prudent. That's ice cold, Russia. Poland's still like alive and they're like, oh, we're not really feeling this <laughs> anymore. I feel like Lithuania's a little bit more my speed as far as rivals go. Reformer praises Church of Westphalia. So you'll just give me that. All right, that's fine. I'm going to take war reparations from you. Uh, yeah, you won't. Give really me puts that. it into perspective that it might not have been the best idea to full annex Austria uh -huh. when every province takes me like 30 months to pay for. It's a long time. It's a long time. Okay. Nice work, Mathis. Thank he you. wins. I win. I win one. You only took one province? And war reparations canceled two of their alliances. What? With, with who? You and France. What? Poland. Oh, with Poland. Okay. Confused. I'm like, you're still in your war against Denmark. What's oh, going yeah, on? No, I just I separate pieced out Poland. All right. Bam, 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 bam. I realized there was getting attrition over here. What? Oh, winter probably. So my uh, my little what do you call them? The the theocracy marches. They're not as strong as I'd like. Alsace has two troops. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not their force limit though. Well, it's not much higher than that. <laughs> mm. I'm just gonna YOLO and take a ton of land here and deal with the reparate the repercussions later. Oh hey, look, they popped. Yeah. That's not nearly as many as it should be. I mean, there were like 50,000, but they're spread out. No problem. Divide and conquer. Yeah, it's when they all start to group up. You're like, come on. Game, why would you do this to me? Abstract and, uh, and the other one. Modularize. Mm, pardon me. New organization. Nice. Gain army organizer. Oh, okay. What if I don't want an army organizer? Who does that even... Hmm. Man, unlawful territory. What am I, the emperor? <laughs> <laughs> really? What am I, the emperor? I don't know. Saxony's the emperor. Yes. Oh, We're you? Oh, you demanded it. Go away. Yeah, I should just leave the HRE. That's Do what I did. I mean, it's not actually hurting me. I'm not taking any more territory from the HRE at any point, so. As if the music knew what you were going to do, it did play like that epic violin start. It was like, da da da. <laughs> hey, congratulations on taking all that territory, Prussia. And B, how the fuck can you rival Denmark? I'm assuming once they're at peace, they're going to unrival you. I there's no way I that is legit so. anymore. <laughs> that is absurd. I like it, but it's ridiculous. Ah, oh, yes. Ottomans are attacking somebody else. I live for another day.
Roomba, get your stuff out of my stuff, man. <laughs> I'm I'm so over it. What the rebels? The discontent is just. This I just have to. Genius, man. Otherwise, I have it's a to wasted do it. idea group. I have to because I've got the the random impulse event that gives me fifty percent support rebel efficiency. If I don't, it's like wasting it. Mm -hmm. I guess so. I yeah, can I, give I'm, plus thirteen on rest right now. It's I'm not actually good. like that mad. I guess it's just it's annoying. It is clearing out the like the rebellions pretty quickly, so I guess I I thank you for that one. Fine. You know, you're you're pulling all the dust out from under the bed so I can vacuum it up. <laughs> That's true, because then you get the minus twenty, you know, recently up rows or whatever. Oh heck yeah, discovery spread. Hot chocolate, mm. baby. You ever like get really sad when you think about the fact that like millions of people died in wars for stuff that we just take for granted? Buy at the grocery store for like a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, people dying in, like, spice wars? And you're like, yo, like, pepper's pretty good. <laughs> it's not, like, it's not worth dying for. I know that the soldiers weren't fighting because of the taste of pepper. It's, you know, it's more politically complicated than that. I'm just saying. Right. No, I understand. I'm picking up what you're putting down, man. It's, uh, it's a wild world. Denmark well, is now fully occupied by Sweden. <laughs> Eat them, Sweden. No, they still. Denmark has a couple. Yeah. Of, oh, there, down there. See, I had those stupid provinces over there. Oh, did there. you release Livonia when you pieced out? No, Livonia broke out on their own. Or, really? or somebody released them that wasn't me. Mm. This is like the worst day of Denmark's life. <laughs> yeah. They've had a bad year here. Like, Austria and Denmark and Poland have just had a terrible time. Did you guys hear the timer? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yes, I did. Sounds good. I am also good. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You can peep uh, Roomba subreddit for the view sync link if you're interested. And of course, uh, subscribe and show your support to who or whomever you're watching. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow with another episode. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. See you soon.